Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome back to the Hypermind Vanilla server. How's everyone doing? Hope you're doing well. I'm doing well. We're over here at the witch farm. And what do we have planned for today? Well, you can see in the title, we've got a grand finale planned. And so what we're going to do, we're going to work on some advancements. The main one being we're going to try and eat everything that can be eaten, good or bad for us, in the game of Minecraft. We're going to do that today. That's probably going to require us to do some exploration. So we're going to go visit a woodland mansion. And then we're going to take on the end dragon because, well, we haven't done that in vanilla in quite some time. So let's get started. That's right, ladies and gentlemen, we're over here at the witch farm. And let me just show you a little bit of cleanup that I've done. We had our villager breeder over there. I have cleaned that out. We're going to leave the outline for what would have been, would have been, the passive mob farm or the cows, chickens, all that fun stuff. We're not going to do that. We prepped spawn for it, but we're not going to do it. So, yeah, we're we're going to leave some things undone. Uh, and, and you can tell because uh, this is the last episode for this series. That's right. We are bringing things to a close. And so that means that we can take down our to-do list here. Mushrooms, we're not going to do that. Melon and pumpkin, we've got one at Port Hypermine. Tree farm, not going to do. Auto meat and furnace ray. We're not doing any of that stuff. Nope. So let's put, let's put our stuff away here and take a look at what we've got. So let's go into the advancements. And I believe it's in husbandry. No, two by two. A balanced diet. Eat everything that is edible for you or eat everything that is edible, even if it's not good for you. We've got 35 items that can be eaten, supposedly, in the game of Minecraft. I have got a list of them right here in this book. Let's go through this. Okay, apple, baked potato, okay. So most, you know, some of this stuff we've already done. We, you see we have 9 out of 35, right? But some of this stuff we don't really, we shouldn't be eating. And some of it is going to be rather difficult. Like, uh, let's see if we can go over here. The notch apple. You can't craft those anymore. You have to find them. And that's why I said we're probably going to be going to a woodland mansion. They they show up pretty frequently there. So um, we've got the advancement to do there. And I think what we're going to do one by one is take a look at all the food items. Right here is where the notch apple would go. See that? It's empty because I haven't found one. And then over here, a bunch of other stuff. And we got the server restart in five minutes. So what we're going to do is take... Take care of some of this stuff uh, one by one. How does the... Uh, I've got... I, I did one of these. The Health 2 Beacons. I got that going because some of these items aren't good for you at all. So uh, we're, we're going to need all the help we can get for, for the, the overall health. Um, we do need some... We need a little bit of hunger though, and I see that's going to be a little more difficult than I would have assumed. So uh, I, I know we can eat the coarse root now, and that's, of course, that's what it does. I was afraid of that. Can we take off? Okay, there we go. And then let's come back over here. So the coarse fruit, I'm not sure if that's one of the food items, but that may give us one more thing on our advancement list here not there let's go here 10 out of 35 so we got one more okay that's good but you see we still don't have um okay i guess we can eat this all right and i think we've eaten one of those before so nothing no we have not eaten one of those before huh okay well this is going to be uh piece by piece yep it's going to be a little bit before I have enough hunger. So what I'm going to do one by one, I'm going to get enough hunger going. And then what we shall see is um, uh, we'll, we'll go one by one and eat those. Okay, so I'm back in a bit. All right, we have got the server restart behind us. And I think I think that the region beacon was keeping me from actually getting hungry. And so I have turned that off. So no regen beacon. And we've got a little bit of hunger going here. So I think what we should do is eat something that's probably not going to be so good for us. So how about some raw chicken? And that does something. It gives us hunger. That's good. We need hunger. 
and let's see if it did anything for for our husbandry okay so we've already eaten some raw chicken okay how about um let's keep the hunger ones around for a little while so that we continue to have uh, problems there yes we we actually need to manage our hunger let's poison okay a little bit of poison okay that's that's good oh well that didn't do much there but uh now that we've eaten a poisonous potato uh done we should see yes okay so we are increasing here uh, let's see what else we can get into raw fish or well not not so much of a thing how about some raw beef didn't do much no no anything else how about puffer fish can we eat this yes and we get the nausea effect too and managing the health here it's poison for quite some time we should be able to eat maybe this okay the apple anything else mushroom stew uh no how about that okay and that's kind of annoying to be honest um how about mutton we should i think we've already eaten mutton oh come on hunger hunger thing come on okay and maybe this will give us the hunger effect too no it won't we've got poison for a little bit longer and let's see anything else that's going to be detrimental to our health uh not so much right now the raw stuff we still got some raw rabbit over here how about this okay so nothing there and how are we doing on okay we're up to 17 so almost halfway through i think maybe the next one we'll do is the spider eye because those are food right and yes we got 18 now okay and then how about some rotten flesh and and that didn't give us okay so we've been rather lucky if you will on the raw stuff anything more uh fermented spider eye that's gonna be can we eat those we can't eat those can't nope can't eat those all right so you can eat a regular spider eye but not a fermented spider eye anything else over here though how about this no you can't eat the glistering melon either okay uh carrots i think we've eaten carrots before yeah but uh, let's check our progress so far okay we're up to 20 out of 35 and we got potatoes rabbit stew cake and you know while we're waiting for the hunger to go down let's take a look at the rabbit stew recipe i i didn't show these to you i made i did some crafting off camera for this let's see rabbit is it not going to show it huh i guess it didn't show up in my recipes hmm well that's like a mix of some mushrooms and carrot and potato and cooked rabbit i believe let's do that and we should have one more yes we do excellent and we get the bowl back awesome and now it's back to managing hunger again let's see if there's any other bad items for us no no well um how about beetroot soup i don't think we've eaten that before and we get the bowl back on that one as well and let's see up to 22. well it's going to be more of this for a little while we're going to have to get the hunger down so we can eat something from here and let's just consolidate the two piles as well uh cake i think we have to put that down um how about right there okay i didn't really mean to put it there but we can put this uh, shulker box away let's put it right there and then we'll come over here and we've got some pumpkin pie so uh it's going to be more of the same i'm going to have to manage the hunger and i'll bring you back when we're ready to go for some more eating well i've managed to drop my health down pretty low and we've got the hunger haunches low so once we actually get back to where the hunger is 
replenishing health, then we should be going down in hunger more quickly. So I'm going to eat some pumpkin pie. I think that's the first time I've done that on this map so far. And we'll see. Yes. Okay. And then let's see. How about one of these other low value ones? Like maybe the clownfish. That shouldn't give us anything. Oh, it gives you a little bit. Who knew that clownfish were actually a little bit useful? How about cookies? I've eaten cookies before on the map, I think. Because somebody was giving them out. But all of that stuff... All of those stats changed. How about the beetroot? Got a little bit there. And what else is a low value one? Raw fish. That should bring us back up. And then it's going to cause our hunger to go back down as it tries to heal all those hearts back. Who knows? No. No. How does this work? So we've got the hunger haunches and then also saturation, which is hidden. Uh, you like you can't see it right and then what's the next lowest value one uh bread maybe man doesn't live by bread alone so let's try that uh that's a pretty low value one all right looks like we're gonna have to keep doing this we've got a lot still to go i think i've already had carrot before how about raw salmon there's not much in that one right a little bit there, and then we can eat one more thing. Melon. Oh, we've eaten melon before. How about a golden carrot? I don't think we've had one of those, and that's going to bring us up. Uh, once again, we'll have to do the health and uh, hunger thing again. We're up to 29 out of 35, so six more to go. I keep, you know what? I keep uh, confusing that one, so you go over there. Shouldn't have any more problems. We've eaten plenty of steak on here. Cooked chicken. Cooked fish? I don't know. We'll see. So anyway, I need to do a little bit more of that hunger management and I will be right back. All right. This may be the last push here. So let's just empty all of this out and maybe take a bite of cake too. I don't know if that counts towards anything. Let's see. We have eaten plenty of cake. Okay. So nothing there. I don't think I've eaten cooked salmon. So that's a new one. Sure enough. And cooked pork chop, I think I've had. I think so. Have I? Yes, I have had that before. Anything else? Cooked mutton, I think I've had. Who knows? Maybe, maybe not on... I think we've had cooked mutton and cooked fish. So, I don't know. We'll see. Oh, did that give us anything more? No. So, what else... What else could we possibly not have? Uh, not have eaten. I don't know. I mean, we can look in our book, and all of these are high-value saturation items. So let's just take a look here. Uh, we've gone through apple, baked potato, beef, beetroot, beetroot soup. Okay. I think we've done most of this. I got this list off of the wiki for this particular advancement. Um, yeah, we've done, we've done all of that so far. Uh, and so, no, it wasn't the last push. We still got some more to do. Well, here we are again. It's, I don't know. This is kind of, this is kind of repetitive, but if you're trying to get this advancement and you're not doing it by just having all these foods on you throughout your, your stay on a vanilla Minecraft server, or, or any any sort of thing in a playthrough, um, you're going to have to do this. I don't like most of these foods because, it, they, I don't know, they're just not as good. They don't... Maybe pumpkin pie would be cool. Who knows? But let's try this melon. This is a low-value one. It should give us just a couple of hunger haunches. How about a potato? And I think we've already eaten a carrot. But let's just eat another carrot. You never know. And then cooked mutton, cooked rabbit, and baked potato. How about the cooked rabbit? That should give us something there. And any more hunger haunches from from the health. Okay, come on. So what I've been doing to get the health down is just jumping off of that platform over there onto the bedrock below. And, and there we go. It, it brings the health right down. And all right. All right. How are we doing now on our advancements? 32 out of 35. And we've got that still to go 32 
So 33 and 34, I'm not sure what those are. Hmm. Well, how about some cooked mutton? Okay. And did that do anything? That did. We have not eaten cooked mutton. Maybe it's because of the stat reset in 1.12. Who knows? But let's let's try this real quick. Um, I've gotten another way of getting rid of some hearts there. That didn't do much. Yep, and we'll see if the cooked chicken helps at all. And that's not... Okay, some hunger haunches maybe while it tries to heal me up. Who knows? Maybe so. Okay, there. We got a little bit. Let's do this. Just coming for a landing. And then I th we should get 34 right here. Maybe? Maybe? Question mark? Is that it? That is it. Okay. I had not eaten cooked chicken. That's hard to believe. It really is. But that means that we've got one more and only one more. And that is the Notch Apple. And those, you can't craft, you have to find them. And we're gonna have to go to, I've already marked it out. Yes, yeah, I've, I looked it up ahead of time on, um, well, on a backup copy of this map. And that's just because I didn't want to have to go running around and around trying to find one of these things. And so I don't think that thing has been uh, farmed or, or gone through yet. So uh, what I'm gonna do is I am going to pack my things up and we are going to head over to that woodland mansion and and see what kind of trouble we can get into. So I will see you over there. Take a look here. We are at this thing. Uh, we're at the woodland mansion here. I've set up the beacon and we've got strength and regen going on right now. And uh, we've got this marker here. And then I originally had that marker over there. 4,000 blocks away. I don't know what I was thinking with that one. I've got some other plans apparently for that, but yeah. Anyway, if we look down here, we see that we've got a visitor already. Yeah. He wants to come for, yeah, for, for a visit. Yeah. That's, um, that was one of those illagers. He's already spotted me. So I've already taken care of one of those, which is kind of cool. But uh, we, we don't quite want to uh, try and get all of them to come out. Although that would be, that'd be nice to fight them on our own territory. But instead, what I want to do is uh, you know, actually go into this thing. And now, you've seen me do these types of, of combat things before. I tend to go quiet. Commentary doesn't get so or get so exciting and it may take me a little bit to get through this whole thing and we've got a lot to do uh, still to come in this episode so what I want to do is I am going to go not off camera but we're going to speed this up with a little bit of a time lapse so I'll see you on the other side
you enjoyed that little time lapse there, uh, so assuming it turns out I haven't checked it yet, but uh, let's take a look here. I went back through and got out all of those bookshelves, turned them into books, and then this is the results, or th these are the results right here. Notice what's not in there. We did not get an enchanted golden apple. No, did not get one. Uh, this is a bunch of other junk here, but I've got them all in shulker boxes here so we can carry them back to where we need to go. Okay, so no enchanted golden apple, and that's a bit of a bummer because that means we can't finish our quest. So I didn't want to leave well enough alone. So instead, I took some extra time and I went crawling around in a series of deserts. So we've got some over this way, flew around the desert. You can see that. And then I found some more deserts and we went down this way and you see there's a desert there and there's a desert and I just waltzed on all around and yep, hit up a bunch of deserts and look, we've got even more stuff. Now I did put out the call on the server discord. Jan came to the rescue. She has actually left us a couple of enchanted golden apples over at the witch farm, but, um, and that's when the first set of desert temples did not work out so well, but then it turns out uh, we ended up getting a decent amount of stuff, including a bunch of DNT, you know, just for, just for grins and giggles. Got a lot of these things here. You even found some mending. Yeah, we got some mending. Yeah, there we go. A mending book. Yeah, so not too shabby there. But then look, one of the desert temples gave us an enchanted golden apple. So we've got that. All right, so now, you know, our time is getting away from us, but I really want to fight this ender dragon because uh, this is the grand finale where we need to, to do that and take care of a few of these, uh, these, these different... Um, Oh, what's the word? Different, different advancements. Now there is one I want to play with. Uh, not right here. However, we're going to go back to the witch farm and then, and then play with the one that you get by using the totem of undying. Yeah. So yeah, we're going to, we're going to play around with that. So, um, let's, uh, let's head back to our place over at the witch farm and and then we'll see about getting over to the end you know i had this thought maybe we should just go ahead and use this thing there is an advancement for using it it's not like it's that useful anyway i've moved the bed here so the moment that this does not work we will get sent back to spawn where we can collect all of our things but uh yeah let's get to a really high spot here and see if we can make this work for us. Okay. Like so. Okay. Not quite. Not quite. Hmm. Yeah. This is going to take a little bit extra effort. I figured we could, could maybe make it work for us, but apparently not. Just need to jump off of something really high here. Not there. Something really good not enough you know i feel like we've been doing this a lot in this episode trying to manage our health but this should should do it here okay should uh, we don't have any more regen happening so let's do this yes okay so that worked and we get even an advancement for that so awesome and then i actually want to send myself back to spawn and so we can go take a look at what Jan has left for us. Oh, we got regen going. Yeah, we've got some sort of regen going. Oh, and that's not good. <sighs> okay. Well, I will I'll meet you over at spawn. Somehow I think this campaign sign is not quite correct. All right, here we are back at the witch farm, and let's take a look here. Oh, sure enough. Thank you so much, Jan. We've got those two golden apples right there, but I think we are actually... Oh, well, no, we got them right here. We got this one that we got from a desert temple, so we may not end up needing this one. So we'll need to return that to Jan a little later. I'll talk with her on Discord about that, but uh, what we're going to do now is head over to the end. I need to repair up some stuff, and then uh, you may have you may have seen it in here. 
we're going to build those end crystals and get this party started in just a little bit. So let me repair up some items and I will meet you back at the main end island. All right, it is time to craft up these items. Let's see, showing all, and then we can do end crystal like so. Uh, let's do shift. Okay, there we go. So we've made all of those. And just take stock of our surroundings here. This column right here is going to be one of those blocked by a cage. And then if we come over here off to my, yeah, we go right there so we don't upset any endermen. That one's going to get blocked by a cage as well, but it's going to be regenerated as well. And that one's going to be regenerated. So we've got uh, kind of got a game plan here. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to go off camera once again, but we will do a little replay mod time lapse. But let's see about uh, this. OK, we'll do that and that. And we should get an advancement here. Uh, not quite. And we'll eat that thing. Okay, and we got... We got this thing going. Okay, and I'm going to go to the air just uh, just for grins and giggles. And we'll see how this works out. But that's, uh, that's kind of the game plan for now. And I will see you on the other side. Took a little bit longer than I figured, but well, there we go. All right, let's take a look at our overall achievements here. We've got the end again, respawn the ender dragon. Okay, we did that. You need a mint, collect some dragon's breath, free the end. And yes, I am using the replay mod, so you saw that there. Yeah, we took mostly to the air, but uh, I think, I think all in all, that went pretty well. Monsters hunted five short of that i might do that off camera but i'm not going to show you that summon i've i've done that before but oh well and we're two away from adventuring time and yeah overall remote 
get away. Okay, uh, and those will be easy enough, but I think all in all, we've done pretty well and, um, you know, enjoyed enjoyed the time. But this is going to be the last episode on Hypermind Season 3 for me. And hopefully you have enjoyed this season and, and this overall series. We've done a lot, we've accomplished a lot, built a lot of cool stuff, but it's time to bring it to a close. So without further ado, usually most people just go on and and build things after this. This is the first time I've done the Ender Dragon in quite some time, but this is the end. Thank you so much for watching, and we'll see you in whatever comes next. <laughs>